so far in our document window you can see that this is our web page and um, it's always a good idea to view and preview this web page so go to file preview and browser and click whatever browser you wish to use uh, another way of quickly viewing and previewing this web page is if you go here and click that and then click preview in IE Explorer or whatever browser is available or you can just press F12 on your keyboard and either way you use will open up that web page in a web browser and here is what that web page looks like so far but you'll notice that it isn't very eye-catchy because it mainly consists of black text on a white background so I'm going to close this web browser and I'm going to modify the background. Now make sure your properties inspector panel is still open and there's a button here called page properties and if I click that button it will open up the page properties dialog box and there are several categories but today we only have time to work with the appearance category so if I click that and in the appearance category we could uh, select a font that we'll be using throughout the web page but um, we're not going to change that because we already uh, selected the font in an earlier exercise we also selected a font size for different items earlier and we selected the text color uh, individually so we don't have to worry about these three items but um, the fourth item here background color right now you can see that it's white but if I click the down arrow next to the words background color it opens up uh, a palette of many different colors okay so I could quite easily choose this color here and um, that's the color that's the preview of the color and here is the hexadecimal code for that color which you don't have to worry about right now and if I click OK um, see what happens see now the entire web page is that nice pink that I selected okay so again if you want to change colors to the background you just click page properties and choose from the palette here um, also you may wish to click that button here and that will open up um, this color dialog box which allows you to select even more colors so for example maybe there's a really nice shade of blue that you want that wasn't available earlier so I've got a light shade of blue click OK and that color has now been selected with the code for that color I click OK and now the web page is at color now in some cases you may not even wish to have a solid color for your background and um, here's an optional way of applying a background you can click page properties and instead of just selecting a background color you can select a background image now I've already spent some time going on to the internet and finding some background images and I've downloaded and saved them onto my USB drive so I will click browse and look in my removable disk and here they are okay I've got uh, a Celtic knot a frost background and a marble background and these are stored on my USB already um, I will choose the Celtic knot and I'll see what that looks like okay uh, I select it click OK and I click OK again and as you can see that applies a Celtic knot pattern to my background the blue color I had earlier is still technically there but it's no longer visible because now that picture of the Celtic knot is covering up that blue background uh, let's try another background image click page properties 
and click Browse. And this time, I will choose the Frost. And then click OK and OK. But you can see that this Frost background is a very poor choice of a background because if you look uh, carefully, some of the text is very difficult to read because certain parts of that uh, image are dark. And so the words that are against a dark background, like for example here, uh, are difficult to read. So when you, when you are using a background image, you have to make sure that the words are compatible with that background. Let's try the third one I have, the marble background, and click OK, and OK. And you'll see that this one is a much better choice of a background than the frost was, because even the darkest parts of this background image are not going to interfere with our text. Now, depending on what background you have, um, you may be able to change the color of the text so that it could be read against that background. But you're going to have to experiment with um, your picture in the background and the text color until you find something that works. Okay, um, you can now proceed to the next exercise.